As a national park enthusiast, it's almost criminal it's taken me so long to visit Glacier National Park. Many Americans' favorite park, it touches the Canadian border in northern Montana and is full of glacial lakes, stunning landscapes, and big wildlife. I was driving to the park from Spokane, Washington, which is about a five-hour drive that took me through the wild woods of Idaho and straight into this stunning national park. Hey everybody, I'm Alice Ford. Welcome to Glacier National Park in Montana. I'm here with my sister. We're gonna be exploring over the next four and five days, hiking and backpacking the park and bringing you some of the best places to explore. We started our trip in East Glacier, arriving late in the evening on a rainy filled night to the Many Glaciers Hotel where we would be staying the night. This national park has a ton of hotels within the national park, which is unlike a lot of them, and this one has spectacular views. It was modeled after a Swiss chalet, and not only are the rooms cute, but the views are spectacular. My sister and I were supposed to hike out to Red Eagle Lake and spend the night tonight. It is pouring out and it's supposed to pour just all night, uh, all day. So I actually just stopped by the backcountry, the ranger station here at Many Glaciers, uh, which is just up the road from the hotel. And they were able to move our apartment to tomorrow to see a wonderful sunny day tomorrow. So excited for that. And today I think we're just gonna lay low get out, see some of this area around many glaciers, but uh, it's gonna be a wet day. It is a rainy day today, but we're still gonna be hitting the trails. We are in the many glaciers area right now. We're gonna be heading out to Iceberg Lake. There's a bunch of trails in this area. It's gonna be pretty soggy though. Uh, we checked in at the ranger station this morning. There are still quite a few things closed here in the park. So we're kind of asking the locals and uh, the park rangers here what's the best things to do. So hopefully out to Iceberg Lake should be pretty and hopefully we won't get too wet. All of Glacier is bare habitat, so if you're hiking here, you will need to be prepared with bells, your singing voice, and some bear spray. The hike to Iceberg Lake is just under 10 miles round trip, and although the weather was not ideal, the rain and lack of people made this wildflower and waterfall filled hike absolutely spectacular. Now, Glacier is known as the crown of the continent, and this Montana park contains 200 waterfalls, 700 lakes, and more than 700 miles of trails. You can even walk on a glacier here, but this time of year, you really never know what you're gonna get for weather or landscapes but it's scenery just like this with a little bit of fog and mist that I really love the most. We're just about one mile from Iceberg Lake now and there's quite a bit of snow. So the park service has actually posted a sign here recommending that you don't continue on the trail. There's a bunch of snow drifts here, uh, potential for ice and a lot of water. I've talked with my sister and we've actually decided to keep going to the lake. Now, I probably wouldn't have done this alone, but there's power in numbers and we're so close. So hopefully it won't be too treacherous. Now, the main danger of this section is definitely the long slanted snow fields we're crossing. So definitely recommend bringing hiking poles and going really slow. All right, we made it to Iceberg Lake. Five miles in and we've got five miles to get out. One of the really cool things you'll notice about these alpine glaciated lakes is that it almost looks like someone took an ice cream scoop and it scooped out the mountainside. That's because this was all a glacier once and as the glacier receded, it took a lot of the mountain with it. Good morning, everybody. 
everybody today we are backpacking so i'll show you our room because we are just trying to get packed up here and ready for the day as you can see we're laying out all of our items here and should hopefully be out the door here in about 45 minutes Finally out of the trailhead. We're getting a little bit of a late start today. It's 11 a.m., but we are packed. We have gone through already our water bladders leaking all over our things just in the car ride over here. So trying to get repacked here. We're going out to a place called Red Eagle Lake. It's about seven and a half miles uh, each way. We'll be camping out at the lake today. And as you can tell, the weather today is beautiful. This should be a pretty epic adventure. All right, so we just had our first potential wildlife encounter. Definitely a little baby animal crying in the woods. So just getting loud <laughs> and continuing on the trail. The trail out to Red Eagle Lake is eight miles each way. It begins in a burned area before passing through these beautiful flower filled meadows. Then it follows along a stream with beautiful mountain views along the way. Now, one of my favorite parts has definitely been these backpacker bridges. There are several of them that cross the river and they're really fun. Definitely don't forget your bug spray on any backcountry hikes that you do in Glacier. If it's early in the season, the mosquitoes are definitely ravenous when you're in wet areas. Well, we finally just saw our first person on the trail so far, which means probably going to have the lake entirely to ourselves tonight. We have been following moose prints for a couple of miles now also, so hopefully we get to see one on our hike. Oh my gosh, how beautiful this lake is. We just arrived. Since we're camping out here in bear country, grizzlies and black bears, they actually have food storage areas set up in all the backcountry spots here. Which makes storing your food a breeze. There's also a pit toilet here and fires are allowed in the provided fire pits, which is such a treat when you're backpacking. Yeah, that's like the same age as that footprint. A uh, Bigfoot or a grizzly, looks like a grizzly. We just got back from our hike. That was a long one. We didn't see any bears, but we did see some bear prints. Hello. Oh, wait. There's a bear now. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> Sophie. <sorry. laughs> now we are driving the going to the sun road. So one of the cool things about this side of the park, the east side, is that you actually don't need a reservation to go onto the going to the sun road. So we actually just stopped for some food after our hike and now we're driving it. It's super spectacular. Right now the road is closed at about mile 17 on this side, so we can't drive across, which a lot of people that we've uh, met and come across right now have also been planning on doing this part of the year, but this road will probably open the first week of July. That's pretty typical, so it is still the end of June. There's still quite a bit of snow up in the mountains here, so not always open, so make sure you can plan accordingly when you're coming here. Uh, it takes about two and a half hours to get across this road and about two and a half hours to go around if you can't get across going to the sun. Good morning everybody. This morning we are in the Two Medicines area. This is also an East Glacier and it's definitely one of the less visited parts of the National Park. We're going to be hiking a pretty cool mountain today and it's beautiful again. I'm really excited to get the trail today. There's supposed to be goats and sheep up there so we're excited to bring you guys along. Here in the Two Medicines area you will find the Amtrak station, a few hostels and restaurants, as well as this lies on the Continental Divide Trail and one of the National Park Lodges called the Glacier Park Lodge. 
Now, one of the activities that I highly recommend if you're coming here to Glacier is doing one of the boat tours. Now, these are on several of the park's lakes, and it's a really great way for people of all ages to take in the stunning scenery, especially if hiking isn't something you can do. We just parked at the trailhead, and one of the reasons we actually chose this trail because it said it had a lot of sheep and goats, and we haven't even started the trail, so it looks like we can just get back in the car. <laughs> Our work here's done. This trail, according to the Park Service sign, is 3.1 miles each way. However, on all trails, it said it's about seven and a half miles round trip. So I will be tracking this hike. <laughs> Let me you guys know how long it actually is. There's also a waterfall you can hike to on this route if you want to do something a little shorter. Well, we just got ambushed by our first herd of sheep. <laughs> so cute little babies. You know, if you're doing this trail, please keep your distance from the wildlife and don't feed them. Also, don't try to get closer than them to take photos because it can lead to some dangerous conditions for not only them on the trails, but people too. This hike has been incredibly windy so far. Just really strong wind gusts, 30, 40 miles an hour. And uh, it's feeling a little bit unsafe, so we're actually gonna turn around. We're gonna head back to the parking lot. We're gonna eat lunch, and then we're gonna head to West Glacier. From East Glacier to West Glacier is about a 90 minute drive. So that's where we're heading right now. As I've mentioned in this video, going to the Sun Road is actually not open all the way across right now. So if you're wanting to get from one side of the park to the other, you have to take Highway 2, which is a little bit longer in mileage than the going to the sun road but it actually takes about the same amount of time uh, to get from one side to the other so that's where we're heading now we're gonna head over to west glacier and tonight we're actually staying at the lake mcdonald lodge so luckily for us this is also kind of our ticket to get into the park if you're not planning really far in advance right now for a lot of these parks reservations aren't guaranteed which is exactly how it is for Glacier. So if you're wanting to do the going to the Sun Road, one of the kind of hacks that you can use to get onto the going to the Sun Road if you can't get a ticketed reservation is to book one of the hotels on the going to the Sun Road. So I booked pretty far in advance. I got hotel reservations for whatever we could find in the park. And luckily tonight we're staying there. So I'm excited because this is a fantastic place to stay and hopefully we're gonna see some wildlife. But when we get over there, we're gonna go hiking first. Right around Lake McDonald Lodge are tons of trails that we're doing just a short one this afternoon called the Johns Lake Loop. And it's just a nice little forest walk, not much elevation, perfect for families, or an evening walk before you eat dinner at the lodge. Welcome to Lake McDonald Lodge. I think this is where our vacation gets a little bit more leisurely. We're actually staying in this cabin behind me. It's just about 5 p.m. and I'm already loving the vibe here. Everyone is just kind of sitting outside, drinking a beer, enjoying the great views over the lake. We're gonna take a couple afternoon strolls here, but I think we're gonna save our more strenuous stuff for tomorrow and just kind of enjoy the beautiful scenery here.
It's extremely pricey to stay at this hotel at over $500 a night, but the views and the access to the park are pretty priceless. Another activity that's unique to Glacier are the Red Jeep Tours, which take you on a tour of some of the park's most beautiful sights in old-fashioned stretch Jeeps. You can book these and several of the other park activities like horseback riding or the boat tours over on the NPS website. It's our last hike in Glacier. I can't believe our trip is almost over, but this morning we are heading out on a hike up to the Brown Lookout Tower. This is just over 10 miles and the trail begins just across the street from the Lake McDonald Lodge along the Sperry Trail. This trail pretty much goes up an incline from the first few steps. And if you don't want to do the hike all the way up to the lookout, you can actually do two other trails that connect to this one. One is up to the Sperry Chalet and the other one is out to Snyder Lake. When we went to bed last night, I was telling my sister, we have to see a bear before we leave Glacier. And we just saw our first bear. It was a black bear that was actually kind of a redhead, <laughs> pretty brown, but um, he or she just kind of slunk off into the forest. We gave it a lot of space, but it was really cool to see our first glacier bear. On this trip, I keep finding myself sharing the trail with ptarmigans. Now these little birds are in the grouse family and the willow ptarmigan is actually the state bird of Alaska. We've seen a lot of them throughout our time here in Glacier. One actually jumped out of the bushes at us on our first backpacking trip and I about had a heart attack. We have gone quite up in elevation here with some pretty great views over the lake. Minus all the burn trees up here, but wanted to show you guys this fur, which you can see right here. Now the trail reports from the last few days said a couple people had seen mountain goats up near the top. And it looks like we might be following in the footsteps of some. Fun fact. You will often see the goats licking rocks in the spring, which actually helps them get much needed salt. So if you've got sweaty legs before warned, they might try to come and lick you too. We actually passed several people on this trail that turned around because they thought the goats were being aggressive, but in reality, they were probably trying to just get close to them to try to get some of the salt off them. No matter what happens on the trail, always give wildlife a large space especially during spring when animals are more likely to be hungry or raising young. We made it to the fire lookout. Oh my gosh, the views up here are absolutely amazing. Just incredible. Now, most people didn't make it up this far because of the snow that we crossed back here and those goats, but I am certainly glad we continued on because this is just spectacular. And what an amazing way to end this trip to Glacier National Park. I hope you guys have enjoyed following along. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on those bell notifications. And make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Drop a comment down below with your favorite hike or moment from this video. And I will see you guys in the next adventure. As always, I'm Alice Ford, never stop exploring. Still learning where that record button is. Stop, play, stop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. I handed Meredith the camera yesterday and she recorded a 43 minute clip. <laughs>